Hello, welcome to Tabletop CP. Today we're going to France 1940 for a game of bolt action. Today's mission is going to be called Meeting for Biscuits at the Perno Biscuit Factory. So this is going to be a custom mission, uh, BEF versus Germans, about a thousand points each. So, uh, real quick, I'll just go over the mission. So, uh, at the Perno Biscuit Factory and in the nearby town, there's secret plans stashed away. For, for the, the V1 hot rockets. The uh, Yeah, the early stages of the V1 rocket program. So there's some plans hidden here. And the so plans, machine parts, special machine uh, machinery, yep. machining machinery. Machining stuff and plans. So the, both sides uh, are trying to get here to capture it. So these two houses are going to be a place where there could be plans, as well as these two parts of the factory. So the way the plans are going to work, a squad or an officer has to be in the building and they can do nothing else that turn except for search. So instead of shooting or doing anything, you could say, I'm going to be in the house and I'm going to search for the plans. So what you do is you roll a D6 on a one, you don't find anything. On a two, three, four, you get one point worth of plans, and on a five, six, you get two points worth of plans, and you can do that every turn. Um, and you can have as many squads in there searching as you like. Of course, if they're searching the house, they're not shooting or fighting or moving. So that's the main objective: is to capture those plans. We also have some secondary objectives. So we have a downed pilot here. He is going to be worth two points. Downed RAF pilot. And then we have a buried, some more buried uh, machine parts over here that are also going to be worth two points. And then finally, kill points will be um, tiebreakers and just extra victory points. Um, deployment wise, it's going to be, we're both going to be coming in on the long edges. And we will have a first wave of up to half our force coming in on first wave, turn one. And the rest are going to be coming in, in reserve on turn two or, or even outflanking on turn three. So that is the mission. Now we'll take a look at the terrain. So terrain wise, all the buildings on this map are stone and they are all hard cover. The uh, stone walls are hard cover as well. Hedges are going to be soft cover. They are going to be, you can't see through them. They're not going to be blocking line of sight. Otherwise it would just be too much uh, line of sight blocking terrain. The only uh, blind sight blocking terrain is this piece of dense uh, terrain here, this forest. The two orchards are going to be light uh, cover only, but do not block line of sight. And the only kind of modification to that is if you're shooting through two light covers, then it becomes a hard cover. So if I was in here shooting through this orchard at someone behind this hedge, that would be two light covers. That would be considered hard cover at that point. So that's just to open up the board a little bit for line of sight purposes. Otherwise, I mean, it could be interesting that way too, but I would like to have a little bit more line of sight. So uh, that is it for the terrain and the mission. Now we will look at the force. So here we have the BEF force. So this is uh, just under a thousand points. So what we have is, and everything I have on the side is regular. So we have a lieutenant with man with pistols. I also have a captain, Fluffy O'Driscoll. Oh, Malcolm McDonald is the name of the lieutenant, and he's got uh, Hector McDougal with him. And then we have uh, Fluffy O'Driscoll, Captain Fluffy O'Driscoll. He's a regular captain with a man, his uh, piper, uh, Biff Robertson. And they're in a Bren. We have our free observer. We have three sections, 10 men and an LMG. And one of the sections is going to be split up between these two Brens here. And we have an AT rifle. I have a Vickers medium mortar with spotter, two pounder, and an A9 cruiser tank. So that is the British force. On this side we have the German force. This is all regular, I believe, except for the AT rifles veteran. So a lieutenant with man submachine guns. Got a medic veteran. Actually, the, sorry, the veteran or the medic's a veteran as well. Which that's the only way you can take them. So. <laughs> yeah. Woohoo! Yeah, then uh, three squads. 10 men, SMG sergeant, and uh, LMG team. We have an MG34, medium order with spotter. We have a Pac-36, uh, half-track, 
a 222 armored car and a Panzer 38T. So this is also just under a thousand points. So pretty even game. And now we will go ahead and roll to see who gets who gets to play what. Okay, so high roll uh, is the British. All right, Andre's the British. Wow. <laughs> Okay. He's been wanting to be the British. He's missing his. He's been missing his uh, free free observer lately. Well, and I was over here strategizing how I was going to pull this off as the Germans. I haven't been the Germans in a while, so I guess okay. it's that time. So, okay. So actually, let's roll to see who gets to pick table edge. Yeah, another six for you. So you get to pick your edge. Hmm. Okay. Um, and then I will obviously take the other edge. So Andre has chosen this port edge. First wave. I'm going to be bringing in all this stuff here on my first wave. Uh, these guys will be coming in in reserve, and I will have some outflankers. So I'll take a look at the British. So Andre is going to be bringing in these two sections his lieutenant, his free spotter, medium mortar, two pounder, and the A9, which I forgot to mention this is actually the close support bearing. So it's a light howitzer. It does, however, however only have a 7 plus armor. But it has all the machine guns, so it's bristling with weapons, but light armor. And it's time to pull the first dice. Here we go. That's you. That's Andre me. Andre ran a squad or a section in there, but we had also went through and did all <laughs> of our uh, down orders on the for the guys in reserve. And I managed to yeah, get Andre all of mine. I still have two and two on reserve. Okay, There's well, one. There's the two. Okay. Now we're uh, now we both have to. Now we're pulling this. real dice. Oh, there's a real Travis. My medium mortar has come on here, and I just brought the spotter on with him. He's up here, looking out this direction. Next dice. That's you, Andre. It's me. Andre brought another section in over here, so he's got two sections closing in on the two buildings. Andre again. That you don't know that's where they're going. I know that that's the objective. <laughs> Andre brought in his medium mortar and spotter is right there. You can't see him. He's uh, camouflaged out there looks, in the in the groundwork. Well. Yeah. Germans. I put my medium machine gun right up there. Uh, he does remember these are uh, do have line of sight through these, so he's actually able to cover most of that area over there. Germans again. This squad just ran in from here, heading up to uh, Topper Van Horn there, the pilot. <laughs> British. So the free spotter has come in. Let's see if we can spot him. There he is. <laughs> Looking through there, he got a pretty good line of sight, uh, pretty much to my whole side of the board over here. So next dice. And I might even. Ask for soft cover there. Yeah, definitely. Oh, and then uh, since we're not officially over a thousand, normally we have a house rule. You can't bring him if you're. Uh, you can't bring him free if you're under a thousand. But we're allowing it this time. But he does have to pull him off the board once he pulls his. Once he fires his shot, he's out of. The, he's off the board and his dice. So German dice. Those so Andre said we brought out the big guns. <laughs> Only in early war is a pack 36, the big guns. Bring in the big guns. <laughs> Next day. So that's you. So Andre has a. Uh, My two big pounder. guns. Yes. <laughs> his big guns. His two pounder and his uh, <laughs> A9. And then, of course, uh, Lieutenant McDonald. So Lieutenant McDonald and uh, Hard Arse McDougal will come in here just to support these guys. Next day. Me again. Me again. So now let's see the two pounder of the A9. Which I was hoping you would have to bring yours in first. Two pounders come in over there. He really does have limited line of sight on his side because this wall pretty much blocks everything. And the only places he can deploy that would be pretty much out in the open. So it's... Um, actually, yeah. Well, you wouldn't be in the open through here, but I could, to these windows you would be. I could have, uh, yeah. I, yeah. Well, um... All right, pull another British dice. No, damn. No, damn. No, damn. So it's either the 222 or the 38T. So I brought in the uh, armored car here, 12 inch move. We actually have line of sight to that uh, section there, but he's going to get soft cover from that. So soft cover, move long range, needing a six, and I'm firing HE. 
Ah, oh, not quite. So next one. Ah, it's Andre. So he's going to bring in his tank. The 89 cruisers come in here. He's going to fire his cannon at the car. And then the two machine guns, one's going to shoot at this squad. The other one's going to shoot at the mortar. So it's five shots for those machine guns. And then obviously one shot for the howitzer. So the howitzer are going to be needing uh, just a four because he's shooting through his gap here. Woohoo! Shooting the gap. Shoot Ready? The gap. Yep. It's a hit. Ooh. Okay, so see if you penetrate. <laughs> I think <laughs> I do. Fourth time you roll a six. You roll this two sixes the first two rolls of the game to see who we got. That's a penetrating hit because it's. Yeah. So he's wiped out. <laughs> That's okay. not a bad way to start the game. Yeah, well. I highly recommend it to all you gamers out there that are looking for some good strategy. Don't Just worry, get <laughs> lucky as hell on your first shot. That's a kill point for you. Oh, man. It doesn't but, matter because the dice will fail them at the end like they do in every game. That's, uh... <laughs> <laughs> yeah, the first two turns I just obliterate him. He's teetering on the edge and then I just fall off a cliff. So five shots each. Five shots in the machine guns, but he's needing sixes, long range, moves up. Okay, so the... Actually, uh, you needed a five on that, but you still got a six. I forget. The mortar? Um, uh, yep. Mortar shot. Uh, sixes? Nothing. Look at that. Your six is already abandoning you. I'm okay with that. I got him where I needed him. And nothing there either. So just a dead armored car. That's it. The last nothing one else. is uh, the last one is this guy, which obviously we know where he's going. <laughs> the 38T is coming in here, and we're going to see if we can take out this bastard A9. No. All right. So that's it for turn one. On to turn two. Top of turn two. Top of two. Top of two. Two topper. That's you. That's me. The A9 is going to sit and fire again. So shooting at the tank. Need a uh, four. <laughs> oh, man. Woohoo! So you got to roll a six. Well, to do any damage. You still get the pins. Okay. So D3 pins. D3 pins. Come on. Two pins. That's what I was hoping for. Two pins. All right. Okay. And then five shots on the mortar. One hit. One hit, two hits. Two hits. And on the other team, ooh! <laughs> Three hits. Oh, God, this tank's going That's why I wanted to be the British. <laughs> <laughs> okay. But Andre's the, technically our British player. I've just been kind of filling in on since I did the BEF recently. Okay, so two on the... Uh, two on the mortar. On the mortar. Nothing. Nothing but a pin. And three on the other boys. And one dead. And a pin. That's a dead? Yeah, because they're... Oh, uh, oh, oh. Okay. Regular, they're yeah. regulars, so... I'm having a little difficulty swapping games again. Yeah, no problem. Next dice. Uh. All right. Now so, that's done. Three pins and a dead dude. And me again. So this section that was over there made it into the building to start searching possibly next turn. And a quick update here. Uh, the direct fire light howitzer only has a 40 inch range, which meant that he is technically long range to this with soft cover. So he needed a five, he rolled a four. So he never actually hit that. So we just took the pins off and just left the rest as is. You again. But the other section has run into the other building to presumably start searching for the documents next turn. You again. Are you sure mine are in there, Andre? There's one in there. Okay. All I need is one. 38T. So <laughs> Lieutenant McDonald and, Mc, and his uh, platoon sergeant McDougal have made it in here with that section. <laughs> Andre again. Seriously? Uh, go ahead and get all your stuff out of the way. Don't forget, you got all your reserves when you're coming in, too. Yeah, but... <laughs> Vickers has come in right there. You're not impressed? <laughs> well, we spent about 15 minutes deciding where to go, and that's where we wound up. I was just waiting for him to show up in some, like, amazing place I never thought of. <laughs> you, oh, you, you're saying you thought of that. <laughs> yeah, it's yeah, not yeah. a lot of amazing Okay, places. show me something amazing with that gray dice. The squad pass order advanced over into the orchard. We got within three of him. So the next turn I can go down with them 
and then capture him for two points. He gets two points again. before he gets two points, and then he gets two more. The Burry's AT rifles come in over on the side, so he knows I have outflankers. And it looks like he's betting on all of them coming in from that side, apparently. It looks that way. This squad was able to pass their order to come in, and they ran into that building, ready to do some searching. A little bit of sharp practice influence here. <laughs> Germans again. So my officer, Lieutenant Heinz Kramer, has run in just with that squad in there. Next dice. Most, most of them will probably be mine now. Uh, Actually, you got quite a now few there's, stuff off the board. It's about even still. <laughs> it's still, you pulled like five in the first one. <laughs> <laughs> okay, me again. IUT gun is going to go on ambush, cover down that road. Just in case a Bren carrier appears. Just in case. A medic has just come in here with these guys, so now I have three units in that building. Everything on there doesn't have any way to just pull it up. <laughs> Well, I guess if you hit it with a heavy howitzer, <laughs> it could do the, de the job. Uh, me again. Give a down order to my outflankers. And I'll be doing that for the rest of my, for the next two dice I get as well. So now Andre has to either do something with his mortar or start bringing in some of his reserves. Well, let's so the see. Two, uh, the section and the two brands has come in there. They so. actually came in a bit farther over. Yeah, so they can. As uh, I look at my line of sight here, <laughs> they uh, they definitely um, move together. So both the whole section is split up between these two. They have to stay within three inches of each other, and they move together. If they're to get out, they have to get out together. If one gets immobilized, it's wiped out. Uh, there's a few special rules in the back of the rule book to cover uh, units and multiple transports. It's Germans again. Put another uh, unit of outflankers down. That was courageous. <laughs> Biding my time. Okay, I put my last unit of outflankers down. That's oh, the you're all track. done downing? I'm done downing the outflankers. You done down? Then no. I'll no, grab I another great die. I passed an order with my mortar. So with my spotter here, I'm going to try to get damn lucky and land one onto his free spotter. It's my turn for a six. <laughs> the dice god to say no. And you really should have said you were just doing direct line of sight off of the uh, order guess. team because now he is not down and in cover. What are you going to do to him? Shoot him. With what? Okay, I'm not going <laughs> to shoot him. I guess but, you can uh, shoot him with your uh, the rifle on your free spotter. There you go. <laughs> uh, your, your turn then. So Andre is going to fire his mortar into this building here. Uh, two, uh, that's a hit, right? No, not quite. No? Okay, then we'll pull another die. Okay. Me again. You again. So you have left uh, the guys in the brand. You can put them down since they can't get out. Yeah, well... Uh, that's only one dice, though. Me again. My machine gun team is going to see if I can get a pin on the brands. So. Okay, yep. So two hits. So just a pin. I guess a pin on... How does that one? I have to read the rule again. I think a, So it's one pin on, on the one, group. So uh, it's one pin on each carrier, I believe. So it's, the squad is one squad. So the whole squad's going to take a pin. They're just split up. So one brain carrier takes a pin, and the squad inside takes a pin. The one you were shooting, or was it yeah, the other one? Yeah, definitely. <laughs> How'd you know? I, I could tell by the smoke <laughs> mark. Me again. And I think the only thing I have left out of my tank. And is that my last dice? It is. Okay. So last thing I have is my uh, tank. 38T is advanced up into the gap. And we're going to fire on that damn tank. It's a hit. The six. That could be a problem. So let me figure this out. I need out. three to do any damage here. That's a glancing hit. So it's, uh, on the chart, minus two or three, I believe. So it'll just be one. So just two pins. That's all it does. Just two pins. I would have preferred to take it out. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. And what do you have left? He still has his captain and his Bren and his two pounder still hasn't fired, right? Oh, captain, my captain. So the Bren came in here with the Captain O'Driscoll who got out over there. He's going to shoot at these guys. He needs seven. It's just moved long range, yada, yada, yada. 
And he also is uh, his free spotter. He's sneaky, sneakily looking through that rail sneaky there. Sneaky little spotter. Uh, going to call his ranging shot in there. And, oh, you also moved the two pounder up uh, a little bit, right? I squeezed it up so that I could uh, shoot at your uh, outflank. And we've got a mortar round landed over here from a long time ago. And I think that's turn. All right, so we'll come back and do start turn three. Before we begin turn three, Andre needs to see if his artillery strike comes in. And uh, I, I believe, believe so. so. Yep. So we got to roll to see how big the, the diameter is. Okay. And we Long have one. a. Yeah. Of course, you're still hitting like two of my units. <laughs> um, should get the tank also if I. With a five? Oh no, a seven. Seven. So yeah, I tried to make sure I got this him no matter okay. what. I missed. So that just because guy. I hate this bastard. <laughs> Goodbye. <laughs> he's, he's off the board now. He did his thing. So and we don't get the. Uh, the so down. I go down. I was going to go down anyway because I got to go down to secure him, but I can't do anything with the tank. Um, yeah. So go ahead and roll to see what happens to the squad. Okay, so squad just pins, okay. I think and then uh the mortar pins, pins. and the tank. No how it's our shot. Pins. Alright, we'll figure okay, out. Okay, so pins D three or something? D uh pretty sure it's D three. So squad two mortar two tank. One. All right, oh. first dice. So it hit. It didn't do anything. I hate the free observer. It used to be the bane of my existence when we used to when Andre used to play British all the time. <laughs> oh, well, Andre's dice. got first die. So Driscoll ordered them up. They're going to shoot at them. So needing fives for long range. Oh, I'm sorry, moved. Uh, whatever. It's off there. Three hits. Yep. Needing fours to kill with the regulars. Three fours. Uh, roll the six again. Nope, just one dead and a pin. And uh, then he put the two, the rifle, and the two pounder on uh, ambush. For some reason. I don't know. It's uh, <laughs> it's a again. long shot, but he passed his order with the uh, A9, barely. But he did, and he decided to get out of this little uh, Mexican standoff we had going on. And that was not the firefight I wanted to. <laughs> I don't mind being in a slugfest, but it's such a waste. I got so much nice firepower on there, oh, and man. all I'm doing is just delaying you from killing me. Shooting in a tank, yeah. Why would I uh, bother? That's you again. The section that was in the Brens uh, got out, and they ran into the rat bastard. And they're gonna either well maybe start searching. Most likely. Hey, uh, hey why don't you do me. something, Travis? Thank you. The pack thirty six is gonna fire an HE shell into there. Okay. I actually missed a chance to try to take it off ambush and do it at the end of the last turn. And then, yeah. So you're gonna make up for it now. I'm gonna make up for the hit. So Woo! just a three. Yeah. That, that might hit. And then D three. <laughs> <laughs> so I got one of you, maybe. Yeah, one dies, and then D2 pins. A pin and a dead. Okay. So I want to just snipe on a dude. <laughs> That's what you get for sticking your head up. Yeah, keep your head down. Uh, keep your heads <laughs> down, damn it! Dan McKenzie, you again. You know how messy that is? So the guys in the big office building here are going to do a search. And the they are going to find two points. Just one. It was two for five and six. Oh, sorry, sorry. You so are they correct. find one of the documents. All right, next one. So our Andre's at two kill point or two victory points. One for finding one of the documents and one for killing the armored car and another German dice. Um, <laughs> <laughs> so we're gonna do our search, which is a, a down order. Come on, baby. So one point. Okay. Next dice. And it's me. He's gonna search uh, with the squad or with McDonald. Uh, squad, or uh, you can't target in there, can you? 
I don't I don't think so. I'll just put the squad down. So that's another one. Point. All right, so another one for the good guys. And another dice, so you can search again with the lieutenant. Uh, where's down? Okay, lieutenant, what you gonna find? Nothing! Not a damn thing. <laughs> Donald was distracted by something and found nothing. Where's my bagpipe? He's looking for his tea. Oh, wait. It's you again. I'm not an officer of high enough rank. And the second dice, he actually had to put the next one on there. Do they operate with one dice? Both brands? Probably not, but... Well, they're I... supposed to stay within... I don't know. I'll have to look at it, but it's fine. So, German passed an order with my mortar. Order and mortar. And I think I will... So my spotter, I think I'll try to drop one on to the two-pounder. Two-pounder? Actually, I don't even know if I'm in range. <laughs> it's down to 60-inch range, isn't it? Um, Man, that's kind of a... That's close. It's... That's pushing 60. Definitely. Hmm. All right, instead I'll just fire at the Brens. <laughs> that uh, would be a safer shot. No. I don't think you hit. A one. Mortar's uh, been off today. I'll pull another die. But they have a point of shock on them. So Lieutenant Heinz Kramer will perform a search for the plans. <laughs> <laughs> hey, he didn't find anything either. Are you He's sure there's his... anything in these buildings? Yeah, the squad just found something. <laughs> He's directing the search. And doing a fine job. Passed the order with the MG34 and he ran into the building. He's not going to win a fight against the two brands, I'll tell you that right now. And... British, British uh, mortar is going to fire onto the building again. Boom! Oh, missed. And... German died. The tank just fails the order with one freaking pin. And Travis uh, summed it up well when he said, uh, yeah. <laughs> The only firepower I have left is that tank. Well, no, I'm sorry. The Pack 36, the big guns. The I big gun. Have. What do I even have left anymore? How many you dice? got all your oh, uh, outflankers. Outflankers. Okay, I'm gonna try to bring in the half track. Uh, minus one. He's coming in. Sweet. So my half track came in. Um, Andre and I were just talking. The order to search the building should not probably be a down order because that only makes it even that much harder to hit you and if you're searching around you're probably moving and digging and throwing stuff and ripping mattresses open with bayonets you're not really paying attention to just keeping your head down yeah, so we'll just say that it's more it's just an order it's just it's it's a down order on here but it doesn't act as a down order it's so it's not giving you the bonus so yeah. that we can actually shoot at each other people that yeah. are in buildings <laughs> yeah because otherwise you're just going to go down as fast as you can, you know, search yeah. right off and also you'll never get rooted it, out. Yeah, so you can't stay down either. You have to pull the dice and then... And you've got to roll to pass an order. Yeah, if you have a pin. Yeah. So I'm going to shoot at them. Uh, so moved, hard cover, so sixes. Man, I'm not rolling very well today. Six dice, I should have got one six at least, right Andre? You're the odds man. That's the odds. <laughs> if you keep track of that kind of thing. Never tell me the odds. That used to be my motto to Andre, but uh, I kind of learned way. to like the odds a little bit lately. <laughs> oh. So another British dice. So... What do you got left? You got, your Vickers. You, got a lot of, you got everything left. Vickers, well they're on ambush, so they actually don't have dice in there. Fired your mortar. So I guess, uh, I guess you don't have that much left. Yeah, I've only got two more dice in here. Okay. Uh, the command Bren, or the old the command Bren when he was in it moved up eighteen. Next dice. It's me again, and I'm starting to wonder what I have left. Oh, the guys in the half track. <laughs> uh, yeah. Yeah, I'm not gonna get out, so they'll just go down. I wish I could shoot out of it. And me again. I should make a rule where you could like shoot like at least three guys or something out of the top of it. You would think. So uh, that's uh, 
five shots on the machine gun. So he's on ambush. Oh, he's on ambush. No, oh, there's an I just pulled it. Next to it. Oh. I just pulled it. Oh, okay. So you're just gonna shoot. All right. So you're gonna shoot at them. Yeah. So it's long range, hard cover. Yeah. Did that hit. Yeah. That's a <laughs> six, seven, eight. I got a nine. <laughs> Hey, both of the dice. machine guns aren't very good. And the last thing I have, oh, my AT rifle, which Andre now knows where is it coming in. But <laughs> notice how I was polite and pretended I didn't know by firing my machine gun. I'm going to wait. Right, there's no point in coming in <laughs> with all the firepower on ambush. What do I have left? Uh, so the uh, mystery dice was the medics. It always is. And the last one's Andre's. Last die. Which is what? Do you, I guess now we need to figure out what your mystery dice. So that's it for the uh, top or for the end of turn three. So if you're wondering where that last die went and why we're not talking about it, it was the free observer didn't get his uh, die yanked. Right. He's gonna try to come off the ambush here. The big gun. Yeah. And the rifle. So, no, just the big gun can do a fire. Okay. So, at the house. Boom. That's not a hit. Well, it's long range, hard cover. You <laughs> need a six to hit. Uh, wow. Okay. Okay. And uh, as we stand now, we're both at three victory points. So, uh, Andre's found two documents in his search, and he's got a kill point for the armored car. And I have found one not document in the search, and I've also captured this objective. So that's worth two points. So I get two points every time I, or just the one time, just the one, yeah. It'd be too easy to just hang there and just gather points. Yes. <laughs> I'd, I'd be on this one if that were the case. <laughs> but that would make you want to get the person off of it, that's for sure. We should do a game like that sometime where you, uh... oh, I'm sorry, we're rambling here. Let's gather we... the dice and do turn four. All right, top of four. Hey, look at that, Woo! a turn dice in the first, uh, at the beginning of a turn. What so first thing I'm gonna do is my half track's gonna move up and we're gonna fire at those guys. So, uh, moved, hard cover. Man, I can't get a six today. Unbelievable. <laughs> yeah, Not try again. Oh, uh, well I can't try again with that guy. I could get out. <laughs> I could run up to the top floor and start searching. <laughs> <laughs> Can I do that? <laughs> I don't know. How do assault rules work in this game? You have to come into base contact. So it's not like chain of command where you're, when you're within four. You actually have to get base to base. I was going to say, uh, as you run past the window... Uh, We're not in contact. Mm -hmm. So I guess you could. All right, I did it. I ran up into the building. I don't care. I'll get hit with a howitzer. I don't care. Of course, shooting a howitzer into a building with your own guy is probably not a smart idea. <laughs> I was uh, hey guys, uh, kind of curious how that was going to work. <laughs> Keep your head down. <laughs> oh, you're on the bottom floor? No worries. <laughs> it only blows up in an upward it, direction. That's why they call it an explosion. It blows up. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Pretty stay. Two Brens have come this way, and they're going to fire their Brens at machine gun team. Taking sixes? Probably. Cover. Hey, look, you got oh, two. two of them. Wow. All right, fours to kill. Ooh. <laughs> Both of our shootings ineffective. You get an extra dude after that roll, right? Yeah, one springs up. Another, another, another guy. Reinforcements come <laughs> in. Next dice. Germans. Pack 36 going to take another shot at the building. Big gun. Hit it. Hits with the big gun. D3 hits. Come on, give me D give me D3. Okay, two hits. And it's a plus one, so your regulars, but you're in cover. So you get so fours? Well it don't matter. <laughs> I didn't get anyone anyway. You don't get uh actually yet. I, I was it. gonna say do you get a cover bonus twice for shooting no. and for hits? Yeah, I guess not. I thought the building gave you an extra plus one to your, to your damage too because you're in cover. So yeah, it's, it gives you a plus one to your uh, wound roll. So they're regulars, plus one for being in the building. I'm plus one pen and I get a four, I didn't get one. But I do get D2 pins. So two pins. I'm up to three. 
So that might make it harder for you to pass your order to search. It might. <laughs> or it will. <laughs> At least we'll have to roll an order test. So I've got two units in there. Two is just on the squad. Okay. I guess I probably should have targeted the uh, officer. Of course, I would have been a small team. I would have, I would have, missed, <laughs> I would have missed with that three. Okay. Uh, he's going to fire his mortar at, at the building again. This time, need you going three. down? No. <laughs> I can't. I need to search. Whoa. Okay, that missed. You can't hit the table. Oh you man, lost. I missed the table. Okay, that's a hit. So now we need to see what floor it blows up on. Okay. So one, two, three, top floor, four, five, six, bottom floor. I don't think floor. that's how it works. Correct. Okay, so it's four, five, six for the top floor, one, two, three for the bottom floor. Come on, four, five, six. Oh no, the bottom floor. So D6 hits. Uh, here we go. Five. five. So who are you targeting? Uh, Does it hit everyone? <laughs> or do I split them up? <laughs> <laughs> this is what happens when you switch back and forth between games. Yeah. Um, Let's say it's on one or the other. How about I just roll a die to randomly choose? All right. High is the officer. Low is the team. Middle is. There's only one, two, two units in there. So. Oh. Okay. The squad and the officer. Oh, and the medic. So the the officer. So five hits on the officer. <laughs> five hits. Uh, they, yeah, you got them. They're dead. It should only be two hits. I mean, how can you hit two guys five times? <laughs> <laughs> and not anyone else. All right, well, my officer's dead, so take his dice. Well, should we, sh should we just split? No, I don't care. Just, that's fine. Take I think you're dice. right. We should have split it out uh, over... Uh, uh, it gets a little confusing when you have three units in the building. Let's, let's try it again. So the two hits on the officer team? Oh, I see what you're saying, yeah, split. Okay, so, so one, one dead. Okay. And then the hits, one, more one dead. So we'll roll that six again. On the uh, other team. So just a dead guy on the team. Yep. And a dead officer. So see how many pins you get on the officer. D3, one. So I'll take them all test on the officer. He makes it. So I'm down to one guy, and then hits on or pins on the other group. The squad, yeah. One. one. So one pin each, and a one-man officer team. So next. And I'm zeroed in. And you're zeroed in, but you just have to keep rolling to see what floor you blow up on. <laughs> <laughs> you again. Me again. So the brand just ran around this direction. You again. I right, was trying to search with the squad, so you get a plus one for your officer being there. Yep. So... You get your captain over here. If you can get within 12, he'd be a plus three. Actually, yeah, I need to do that, don't I? Alright, yep. so the officer, with Captain his pipes Rodrisco, uh, he's going to actually do what he came in this game for. 12 inch bubble, plus three. He's within 12, so you're just rolling on your regular... Um, Oh, so oh, man. Well, when you so I could actually pull there. Yeah, so you could use his for that to move, and then you can pull two. So more. I can pull two dice. Yeah, so you can search the whole building. twice. So roll a uh, leadership or command test, orders test for the crew. So they pass. I actually, would have passed without them on that roll, but uh, wow. And then, uh, so roll the for your officer. No, he, he doesn't, he doesn't need to pin. roll. So okay. just roll the search. Okay, so both searches. Yep. So two points. Not bad. Not good. But <laughs> better than one point or none. <laughs> Next dice. You've got to be getting to the point now where you might start thinking about actually shooting with those guys. If I get up enough points, but. Yeah, you're at two points now. So I did pass the order. Uh, with the squad, and we're going to search the building. Come on, give me a six. No, no. I'll, I'll take it's the a one. Point. It's a point. It's one point. Next dice. Me again. You again. Okay, I'm going to try to pass the order with my officer. He does. Now, let's try to pass, see if we can find anything. <laughs> the second uh, time he's found nothing. He's busy. He's a worthless bastard. Two ones. 
in the two and times it's tried. my shot here. The boys' AT rifle ran over there towards that objective. Germans. These guys went down after failing an order with two pins. Uh, British the squad's gonna search the building for yeah. documents. Come on, one. Oh, Ooh. two points. Oh, that's not good. <laughs> I I didn't know you had an officer Dumas. Yeah. Is that you again? Okay. It is. The two pounders just moved up. The 38T has hauled ass full speed, crashed through the wall, ready to get shot with that. So here. I would hit you on a two. Well, three. You have to hit one of the two if you're within six inches. You don't think that's. No. It's close. I don't think it is, but it could be. Uh, man, it's it's really close. Um, we gotta pull a dice first. Oh, I can't. <laughs> I can't just decide if I'm gonna blow you up or not, huh? No, you can now. Okay. And I just uh, move nine inches that way. He's gonna fire his main gun over here. In a seven, you know, moving and long a hard cover because of the two light covers. So. Mm. Moving in hard cut. Yeah, because so it's a six. Uh, yeah, six. I'm sorry. Okay, so come on. Uh, okay, and then five. This one is going to shoot the machine gun up here. Machine gun rounds. That's at least one hit. <laughs> you don't think any of those others made it? Probably not. I don't think I would have made it if you were. Well, maybe point blank. <laughs> uh, even point blank, I think that was. Uh, so a three. A pin. A pin. Nothing but a pin. Nothing but a pin. Okay. All right, mixed dice. That's Me you again. again. They went, he went. So the guy's on the bottom. They could search or they can get out, out of dodge. Well. We're searching on this building on the bottom. I wanted to assault, but you move flat out, so. Yeah, so one more point. One more. So Andre's up to seven points just off searching houses. I got two. <laughs> and I at least four. Me again. What do you have left? The Vickers? All right, firing at the building. Needing sixes, right? Got one. Got one. So Ooh, shooting at that's the, a lot of fives. The squad? Uh, sure. Okay. So you killed the guy. And another Actually, player. I guess I should have shot at the officer, shouldn't I? Well, then you would have needed a six because uh, it's a soft, uh, okay. small team. Small team. So we'll just take a uh, dude out. And then what's left? A just bunch of your dice. A bunch, huh? What? A bunch. My machine gun. Let me figure this out. Got the medic. Small. Come on, baby. <laughs> <laughs> it's very rare a medic does what he's supposed to do. Uh, Okay, now I have four dice left to figure out where they go. I know one's the medic, one's this machine gun, one's, one's my mortar, mortar, and the other one, I oh, the AT rifle. Um, I'll try to bring him in. He makes it barely, barely. <laughs> Man, we've been really cutting it close on these order tests tonight. We've not, I mean, uh, <laughs> the only one that's failed is your tank, isn't it? Yeah, that one time. Got those binoculars ready. We're sighting in on each other. Yeah, looking at each other. So I'm going to come in right there. I'm going to take a shot at uh, uh, at Andre's AT rifle. It's a hit and plus two. So anything but. So one dead and a pin and a, and a morale test. Come on, fail this morale test. Yes. Mm -hmm. He's gone. He's not a veteran. No, mine is. Yours isn't. <laughs> sure. Hey, guess what? I just captured the objective. <laughs> I'm within three of it. You're not. Yep. <laughs> All right. So I can't. I can't get it yet. You're capturing it. You're digging up the parts. But I'll be going down next to it next time. Uh, uh, so what I have left? My mortar. Let's try to pass an order. It's got one pin left. <laughs> uh, he fails with one. He passed it with two and failed with one. And the only thing I have left is my medic could just stay where he is. And oh, the machine gun, he has a pin as well. And we'll just fire at uh, the guys in the building. Okay. So, s hard cover. 
So just uh, fives. So two hits. And the regulars, but plus one for your uh, the extra cover. So I need fives. So Ten. aside from killing that AT rifle, I've really only killed two guys so far this morning. <laughs> and I've lost two guys. Man, this has been a really light casualty game, but that's because of all the searching and stuff. Yep. So that's it on the turn five. Top of five. Score now is you, uh, the British are at eight, and I'm at five. So I really need to pick it up here. Okay. Picking it up and. Your phase. That's a move. Your turn. This cruiser just turned. He's going to fire onto this, even a seven. On one d6, but actually <laughs> it was double sixes. Uh, yeah, I guess on, you're right. Either I way. rolled. I was being optimistic. Okay, and then we got inefficient. <laughs> Except for the fact that we're sitting here still talking about it. <laughs> what are you shooting at now? Oh, the machine gun. Two machine guns. So one machine gun. Yeah, that's not going to do. That's it. not going to do it, is it? No. Second machine gun. That's, that's not going to do it either. Well, that was a lot of fun. <laughs> Hard cover moved. Woohoo! Next one. Okay. So I'm gonna fire this machine gun at them again. See if I can get another pin on them, and hopefully they'll fail motor for once. So it's two hits. Uh, ooh, I got one with a six. So one dead and a pin. So hopefully, when you try to search, you fail the order. Because I'm falling way behind in certain documents. <laughs> <laughs> Big time. We've documented that you're way behind. Walk your order. What's this for? That's the one that AT I rifle. Lost. Okay. Uh, so search. Oh. <laughs> I saw something sticking out of the corner of that drawer over there. <laughs> grab it, grab it. It's a document. It. All right, I'm going to search with the officer. If he, <laughs> if he fails again this time. He's going on a suicide charge over to, into that Vickers. <laughs> oh, no. he tried. Okay, nothing like a motivating speech from HQ. <laughs> You're about to get sent ahead into that Vickers. <laughs> so two and German or British dice. So these two brands circled around. They're gonna try and take out the AT rifle and even sixes. So, got one. One. And they're veterans. No. Oh. no. Is it? No. But I do have to take a morale test. <laughs> he failed it. <laughs> God dang it. That's crap. Well, I guess it's going to be up to my machine gun to keep you off of that objective. Um, let's see here. So I got my tank left. Got a lot of stuff left. So they failed an order. That's two orders in a row with an 11. Yet when I roll to search, all I roll is ones and twos. <laughs> uh, the half track's going to fire into there. See if I get another pin on those guys. So it's just, uh, what? Fives? Ouch. Ooh, four hits. And then you are in cover, so your normal, or regulars, plus one in the building. Pin. The pin. But you're at quite a few pins now, right? Three pins. Yeah. But he is Captain off, my captain. The captain is within range. So next dice. That belongs to them. So next dice was you. I say pass the order um, with them, with the three pins, but he's got three from the captain obviously. So three searches. Two, three, four. Five. No. It's five and six is a two. Oh, five. That's right. Those are. That's five more. All right, and next die. I didn't think uh, it was going to be this easy to just camp out in the buildings. Well, I did. Uh, so what do I want to do? I got my mortar. He hasn't shot yet, so... But he does have a pin. <laughs> He'll see if he still feels like it. He hey. feels it. Yes. And I'll fire it on your... Uh, your Vickers. 
Oh no, uh, the the other thing. So measure me out there, Andre. Am I even within six 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 inches of the two inch gun? Oops. So you are at fifty six inches. Well, so I could, uh, so I could hit the Vickers too. All right. Well, onto the two pounder. Come on, I need some luck here. Man. All right, next dice. That's me again. I still have my tank. But my tank drove up, crashed the wall. We're going to see if we can hit that tank. Hey, it's a hit. I kind of resign myself to just missing it. <laughs> <laughs> Let's see what happens. Ooh, that that that's a pen. Right? Yeah, so it's four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Not quite enough for the double whammy, but. <laughs> Two pins. All right, next dice. You? Oh, Me. two pounder at the building again. So that's a hit. So D. Let me think it's D6. D6 hits. No, D3 because it's a light. Not, not heavy. <laughs> okay. Well, Andre's streak of getting every roll he needs continues. So I only need well, four is now, right? What do we. Yeah, but how do we decide we were going to. So do that? one on the officer, two on the others? That's fine with me. Okay, officer. Yep. Others. So <laughs> nothing. Even with the uh, old. Plus no, one. that doesn't matter, does it? Wow. So Andre whiffed. Just a couple somehow. pins. I've been watching you. Well, I've been showing you how to do it. Yes, you have. <laughs> and uh... so I'm back up to a pin each. So next dice. And so what do I have left here? You got your big gun. The big gun. Those guys, but they stayed down and they removed a pin. D3 pins are all the one, of course. And... Uh, oh, uh, you got no, they one went more down. in here. One, oh, my medic. So my medic and the big gun. So the big gun will just shoot at uh, those guys in the building again. Uh, we'll just shoot at the guys. <laughs> Another hit. Without anything to spare. So D3. Ooh. Ooh. Three hits. So one on your officer, and then two on the uh, the squad. So it's plus one, so just fours. <laughs> <laughs> yes. <laughs> I took a pin. Okay, same exact thing that happened when your gun shot at my building. Uh, I'm glad we're consistent. British dice. Two pins, I'm sorry. So we need to re-roll re D2 pins for those. So D2 pins are your squad, the officer, so the squad takes two. So they're up to four. Yep, and then the officer takes one. So actually, roll D2 pins over here. So the squad. Two. That's two. And the officer is two as well. So two each over here instead of one, which is makes it, well, <laughs> not as much of a whiff anymore. And then you pulled one of yours. So the Vickers moved up to the objective over there. Yeah. So my last dice, my medic, he just went down. And then uh, the last three dice belong to Andre. So the mortar, what else mortar still have? needs to fire. Uh, this Bren here. That Bren. And these boys. Oh yeah, those guys there. Okay. Right, they so passed in order. So my plan didn't work. I don't think you failed in order yet this game, have you? Uh, why would I? Two more are found, okay. <sighs> Definitely some revision needed in the search rules. <laughs> it's out of hand at this point. Yeah. You're past, you're up to like 14 points on just searching. Well, Maybe I Maybe like all. search once and then that's it. Well, I do have that's a lot of guys it, searching. I think um, that's the way to do it. I just, I thought it was not going to be so, I thought it would be easier to disrupt searches. But... No. It should be search, you get one search, and then you move on. Uh, firing so, the mortar. Okay, anything but. So a five. So see where it blows up. Top. Yay, finally. Okay, so everything, the building collapses on top of you. <laughs> D, D6 hits per <laughs> And then and that's it. No, I had one. Oh yeah, the uh, this Bren. Point. He will move up nine. Oh no, he'll move up more than that. 
it'll we'll come up like it. that and blaze away at uh, okay. those guys out there in the open. Two hits. A pin. Which might be enough. <laughs> <laughs> now it's time for the last turn. Last turn. turn. Six. Uh, top of turn six. And Travis is kicking us off. Here we go. Got to pass an order. <laughs> With? The ah, big gun. The big gun. Eight. Yes. Nine. Again with nothing to spare. Now we fire at uh, that brand. So uh, just a three. It's a hit. Uh, four plus. So eight. That's a pen. Okay, come on. One more four. We can do this. Yes. Bye bye, Bren. <laughs> You're going to kill points for me. Dice removed. Next dice. My tank is going to fire his tank. It's a hit. Man, I'm really cutting it close on these, man. Why waste? Just a pin. Just a pin. But you're up to three now, so that's going to get difficult for you to do anything. Unless I get my officer over here. Uh, I don't think he can affect tanks. <laughs> he should be able to, being a captain. Um, so I'm going to fire my mortar at his Vickers. Now is when I need the six. Yes, it is. Come on, dice gods. You can do this. <laughs> I can't believe it. Usually by this time in the game, we've had at least one or two of those uh, first round mortar hits. Hmm. British dice. I'm ordering the building again. It comes it's... in. And it's the bottom floor. So D. D6. <laughs> One. I'll take the officer. Okay. So he's dead. Is that a dice? Yep. So D. Okay, well, no pins then? No pins. <laughs> Alright, I'll take it. The officer deserved to die. Only fighting <laughs> one thing in three tries. <laughs> and another British dice. Uh, He's going to leave the building and assault the half track. So needing fours to hit. Uh, one, two, three. Three. So a d6 plus three. And if you equal seven, you destroy it since it's open topped. So needing a four. No. Alrighty. So, yeah, nothing happened. So you're out of the building now. <laughs> okay. You wanted to get out of the building. So I'm out of the go. building. Alright, so he failed in order with the tank. And we got to get these guys out of the building too while we're, while we're thinking about it. Okay, I don't know if I just mentioned that, but he failed his order with his tank. I could have just said that, but we've been talking a little bit. So <laughs> <laughs> now the AT gun will fire at the building again. That's, uh, we'll say... That's so that? Yeah, I think so. Well, it's... Because you're up against it now. I'm up against it, so it's light cover. Yeah. So, yeah, you're good. Okay. So, D3 uh, hits. Or, yeah, D3 hits. Woohoo! <laughs> and I need a four. One dead. Reroll that, baby. Nope. Just a dead and another pin. So, we're up to three pins. And another guy dead. And Germans. And you get to go. All right, I'll try to pass an order with these guys and just shoot down at them. Hey, we passed. Woohoo! So I got a pretty long window here. I think pretty much the whole squad could Fire them all! Throw some grenades out. The guys are just shooting right out, sticking the guns out and dropping grenades and hitting on twos. This could be it for that squad. Look at that. <laughs> wow. Hey. Okay. There's there they all are. There you go. I wonder where my fives and sixes were. There yeah, they are. you just need to roll a two. Needing fours. One, two, three, four, five. And then two possibles. So five dead. A pin and a morale test. Next dice. British. So the brand is just spun all the way around. Andre claims they have some kind of special ability to move an extra. So he was able to do a full 180 as he shoot at the MG3014. So uh, actually, and I could come up into point blank too, couldn't I? I don't know. I don't know what that really talking about is. But 
You play British more than I have. So that means uh, just move. So vibes, because moved hardcover, but then you got within point blank. Actually, I'm kind of questioning if I could do that, but I'm going to roll the dice quickly <laughs> and move on. And the dice gods have punished you for trying to cheat. <laughs> next, next dice. <laughs> I see, I see. For making up rules on the fly, you shall roll no hits. It has been decreed. All right, needing sevens. It's a long shot, but uh, you never know. Mm. Mm. Potential. Look at all these. I need two. Come on, guys, gods. Damn. Not quite. Damn. If I would have made you go down, yeah, that would have been. You wouldn't have ever been able to capture that. I thought you said you just had to be within three. You have to go, but you have to do an action too. That's what you told me over here. <laughs> Remember, you said I had to actually. Oh, oh, oh. Yeah. Okay. Yep. But it doesn't matter because there's nothing stopping you from doing it. Unless we get another turn, but even then, I'll never be able to get over there. Uh, what do I have left? Oh, these guys? Uh, I'll think of something to do with them. Maybe, if I can pass an order. Whew, man, again, with nothing to spare. <laughs> it's crazy. The squad, the pass order advanced. They're gonna fire on them, we'll say soft cover. So the SMG needs threes. Two hits. Uh, the machine gun needs fives because he's not point blank. So that's one more. And these guys need fours. So two more. So five total. Got five dudes left. Two more and a pin. So two dead out of here and another pin. So you should have two pins now, I believe. Yeah. All right, next. Next one is you. He's going to assault from this building into this building. So I get uh, my reaction shooting for my machine gun. So all but one. So five hits on you. Needing fours since you left the building. So two dead. Still, you have a fast superiority in numbers. Yeah. But we are going to go simultaneous. So I'll just roll mine now. Needing fours. One. And then you get to eight, eight back, even fours. <laughs> you still won. You won. Wow. I won. So uh, you lost a total of three dudes. And yeah. you can consolidate wherever. That's uh, one of those, how many of these victories can I uh, withstand? Okay, so he's taking the building. Barely. <laughs> <laughs> Barely. I would have laughed if he would have. Yeah, that one. Oh, that would have been classic. Stranger things have happened, but not much. Well, I think one time I, your Gurkhas attacked me, and I won on some ridiculously small team. Oh, like I think it was Gurkha a two-man team with a full squad. Yeah, no, just, that was... Yeah, you don't see that very often. <laughs> oh, I'm, I'm flustered just thinking about it here. <laughs> hey, my two-man machine gun team defeated a whole squad of Gurkhas. <laughs> Uh, that was so Captain O'Driscoll activated the squad with four pins actually failed their uh, order check even with uh, Fluffy there and then the other two all that was left was the two officers and they just decided to hang out in there. I drew my last die okay. they're going to capture the objective all right. and and what do I have left? Uh, I don't even know what do I have left Andre? <laughs> <laughs> you got all your dudes my in medic. that building of course, the medic. They already went. They remember, they shot your vickers. So I have one left, and the medic is not it. Half track? Oh, the half track. Yeah. Uh, uh, we'll just shoot at those guys. Okay. <laughs> we'll shoot at the squad. And just uh, vibes. Yeah, four more hits. Oh. Whoa! Four dead. How many you got total? Uh, in the squad? A lot. Have you lost anyone yet? I don't think so. So you didn't lose half, sadly. Because uh, morale tested five pins. <laughs> you, got, you got O'Driscoll there, too. Yeah. So, And then I think that's it. So that's the end of turn six. So roll Did I get a die for your machine gun team? Uh, it's over there. 
Okay. So roll the dice and see if the, we go to the next turn. Nope, game over. Woohoo! So awkward left-handed handshake. I'm learning to shake left-handed with you. <laughs> it's less awkward. And we'll come back and wrap it up. Alright, so game over. British have clearly won. So the final tally was 16 victory points for the British, 8 for the Germans. Um, yeah, just the searching is what, well, 12 of those 16 points were, actually no, you would have had two more because of the objective you captured. Yeah. So you would have been at 18 against 8. But I also got four kill points, which yeah, really surprised two. me. I um, got two kill points. I thought I'd, uh, especially having more units and those Brens, I was afraid were going to be vulnerable. But uh, you just never really had the opportunity to. Well, until you drove one right in front of me. <laughs> that was the only yeah. way. If you would have kept them over there, I could never see through this uh, dense. Well, terrain. you could have assaulted out onto them. But Actually, these guys could have turned and shot. But anyway, so yeah, it's a British victory. This is the first time we've ever played a game of bolt tax where we had some kind of uh, accumulation type victory thing. And and I made it uh, way too uh, easy to accumulate too points easy. Definitely in too a easy. difficult position to... I honestly thought the uh, HE just sitting back um, blasting at the uh, buildings was going to force guys out a lot faster. <laughs> in late war, when you have like you know, uh, brum bars and assault howitzer tanks, that would be the case. But when you well, have one inch template weapons, it's not, they're not that threatening. Yeah. When you're in a building. So. I, I just, uh, I just have lots of bad memories related to getting hit by HE in a building. Well, yeah. But that was when you're facing off against something with a... Well, we were punch. always playing late war. Yeah. 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 In this, in early war, I mean, the biggest threat would have been your that howitzer on that tank, which is only a, a light howitzer, but it still would have been D6 hits instead of D3. So not great, but still better. It, uh, well, if that was just pounding on a building, uh, mm -hmm. you wouldn't have been able to stay in it for... Oh, I would have to get out, because it would have been pins and yeah. But our tanks were pretty much keeping each other occupied the whole game. We got tangled up over here and yeah, even with my lucky hit on uh, the 222, um, yeah, that taking that hurt. out of the mix early really, really helped. That was that was just luck. Oh, straight up luck. <laughs> skill, man, <laughs> skill. Luck. Yeah, if I would have had this dude, I mean, I was expecting him back there somewhere <laughs> at some point in the game. So I'm just gonna drive around and just create havoc. And yeah, losing him. So I was like that one unit that kind of holds ass and just creates havoc in the enemy, you know, back area. That's why I took him out first. Yeah. <laughs> Strategic yeah. planning, for perfect, us. perfect plan. So, yeah, definitely the the searching thing. Well, it's cool and it's a good way to to uh, add a little bit more to the game. One one time of searching should be it. Because it'd be the same as doing these two objectives. And yeah. It'd just be a variable objective with a chance of not getting anything, which would actually be really cool. Well, and when we were talking about it at first, we were going, well, yeah, it's a lot of points, but you're not able to shoot. And, able to, and yeah, but it, you know, the payoff just, um, I guess if we'd have had more units and you'd have had more units coming in and assaulting or getting close to assault and firing in and putting pins on it, uh, but we had too many places, maybe with just one building to search on each side. One building, and maybe make it so that you can never get zero. One yeah. through five, you get one. If you get a six, you get two. Because those two times when I rolled ones, I mean, as soon as that happened, and then you rolled a five or a six and got two, you doubled <laughs> me right there. I mean, I only had four, and you had 12. <laughs> you should have just rolled better, Travis. What can I tell you? Um, but I think, yeah, it, spending a turn not shooting should be at least worth one point. Yeah. Because spending a sh turn not shooting or doing anything well, and then getting nothing for it, actually, a limited turn game is kind of a, harsh. A victory point, you know, that's equivalent to, uh, you know, taking out an entire unit, though. So It is. I knew th I wanted it to be, the points to be strong enough that kill points wasn't going to be the determining factor, that it was going to be about who was able to hold out in a building and support the building search but it turned out that was just a lot easier to do than uh, 
than I had planned. Or maybe Although, uh, I did come, you know, the whole uh, mobile Bren, you know, that's a, that was what, five dice out of my organization were coming over here to disrupt your searches. So I did put a decent amount of effort into disrupting you. Yeah, but the thing is, I didn't even need to be in both buildings. I could just put them all into one building and do the same amount of searching. I mean, I could have split them up, but they would have been easier targets. So, well, one but, building I think is a, probably a good, a good call for searching. Yeah, and you just didn't have as many units searching as I did. I did not. I think maybe another variable we could do is like, remember the one where there's like a thing in the middle, and you have to get to it and get it off the board. Yeah. We could have a building in the middle. You have to get and search it, and then if you find find it, you've got to be able to get the materials get off, the, off the board, and then that could be worth like three points. Well, there actually isn't that a. I seem to remember it's a scenario a, like that. It's the, it is the scenario, but there's no searching involved. Oh. It's just you you go and you get the objective and you run off with it. Oh, that's the briefcase, right? Yeah, the top secret. Yeah, which can be way too easy to win sometimes, depending on what forces you've got. Because I remember yeah. we played that once <laughs> at randomly. The, at the no, at that tournament, you, we played that, and you had the, all those Gurkha like four deploying. Oh like, no, they troops. were. Oh god, what were those? <laughs> uh, right. the, the Chindits that could uh, deploy up halfway the, across the board. No, they were like those indigenous irregulars. Oh, in, okay, yeah. Yeah, so he was deployed like within like striking distance of it and like grabbed it and Yeah, I think got one turn two. It <laughs> yeah. was really That's why you don't play that at tournaments. Yeah. So anyway, yeah, it's I like the idea. It's kind of cross cross pollinating the sharp practice a little bit because the searching thing is a sharp practice uh task, it's called in that. It makes more sense in that game. Uh we tried to incorporate it into this and this, I mean obviously we had no this is a play test of it. Well, it was, uh, Travis said, you want to roll for a scenario? And I was like, no, <laughs> let's I do like, something different. I do like the searching, but definitely, uh, yeah, one search and you can maybe get two uh, points if you're lucky. And after that, you start fighting. Well, and that's the thing about changing your victory conditions around. It's going to take a few times through to really dial in what does or doesn't yeah. work well. But I think next time we could do a search. I mean, there's, because we, we have that other one that Andrew kind of, his his like Frankenstein game where you know getting off the board is worth something and kill points are worth something and there's objectives mm -hmm. and then we could have all three of those plus some of buildings to search yeah um, it's like you suddenly got too much stuff going on but. it it can get tricky and there the real difficult part is being able to focus on how is your opponent trying to win and putting enough effort into identifying that and stopping that which is Kind of what I was doing here. I really thought you were outflanking to this side, obviously. <laughs> I, I, I was ready it. for it. Actually, if I would have brought everyone in over here, I could have got that. Because I don't think even with the Vickers and the two-pounder, you couldn't take out everything. Uh, no, I, I was hoping I could uh, take out the vehicle and slow you down. But then I did have the full Bren... Uh, yeah, those little Brens are nice. Yeah. They move, they shoot, they don't, they're armored. They don't put a ton of firepower out, but... Uh, you can actually pay an extra 10 points, I think, for another light machine gun on it. So you'd have eight shots per, which would, that's getting I've, pretty good there. Actually, I did that. Uh, do you recall that game? Yeah, I remember. You used to do that all the time. Yeah. Um, doing the, uh, the double machine guns on those was pretty sweet. But then you have to have someone in there to shoot the second one, though. Yeah. So it's kind of maybe a one-time use thing, unless you're staying in the Brens, but... Well, I was playing a real mobile British force, which, uh, okay, you know, as I roll up, I'm able to uh, put down some firepower, and then once everybody bails out, you cut your firepower in half, but you're uh, way across the board, hopefully, where you need to be. Yeah. yeah, so anyway, that's it for this one. I think what I want to do, actually, Andre, is I want to keep the map the same, but like try a game of Chain of Command on it. This That'd would be, be an cool. interesting Chain of Command map. Yeah. So next time we play, we'll just play on the same map, and we'll just use the same forces, but we'll play a different game. So Sweet. Not a true comparison. I, I kind of wanted to do like an actual comparison, but I was yeah. talking to like the patrons. I was asking them, and they were saying probably less terrain which I agree with. Uh, so this map isn't set up for that, like 
straight across comparison, but we can still play on the map just because we got the new buildings and everything. So. Well, I gotta say, it was a really fun map. Usually the maps are set up so there's a lot of symmetry and not a lot of advantage from one side to the other. And that was not true today. <laughs> no. Actually, I think this side was better to play on as far as shooting it, uh, line of sight goes. Yeah. Um, I'll, I honestly took this side mostly because I knew I could get the uh, two pounder back out of sight and be able to bombard the uh, buildings. <laughs> uh, the old two pounder bombardment. <laughs> but not realizing that shooting through all of that uh, was making it virtually impossible to hit nothing. Yeah. Uh, so, yeah, I, I made a totally erroneous decision in, uh, in deployment. And it didn't cost you. It did not. All right, well, that's it uh, for this game. Uh, it's a fun game. I like the idea, and we'll tweak it a little bit for the next time. And uh, as usual, check out our Facebook group. Uh, we're getting bigger there, and getting a lot of uh, people are posting their hobby progress, and it's really cool to see just everyone's really passionate about their... Uh, their hobby stuff and they're willing to share it and they're just uh, everyone's there is uh, very nice so and then of course the patreon page if you want to help out uh, the channel uh, keep that going and get better and better terrain like these these new buildings and that's about it so uh, uh, we'll catch you guys next time